right hello everyone let's take a look at the market today now last week as you might recall we were expecting bottoms in order to make a u-turn to kind of lift its head up to come back to do these retracements and we're looking at the euro dollar today so we're expecting a bit of a retracement on the euro dollar and the pound dollar and as you can see the market is slightly going sideways up sideways up possibly going to touch this trend here somewhere around 1.05 20 maybe 40 area there it's rather logical until the market pulls back down again so this area is what you're going to be looking out for this week um, and the first resistance is going to be around 1.0493 which is going to be around there okay so about there that's the first resistance off the week as a weekly pivot there so the market's possibly going to be around here and then we'll have another sell-off and we'll see where that ends up so tonight also Yellen is talking uh, in the US so be mindful of that and uh, follow your trades accordingly let's take a look at the dollar franc which is going to take an opposite tune to the euro dollar as you can see here we have let's just mark this down a little bit to around there okay that's going to be a support level here so it's got a bit more room to come down possible weekly pivot to be around there as well and you can see it's slightly lifting its head up from now now what we might do is also start looking at this breakout a bit more seriously and see what the market might do so this week we're entering uh well we're entering christmas week for that's sure that's for sure but as you know christmas is over the weekend and i think the market's not going to rest as much as we are so i'm thinking that this retracement once it's um fully fulfilled will probably carry on with the trend so we'll probably see the euro dollar uh, and the pound dollar going back down once they hit resistance levels and the dollar franc possibly and the dollar yen going up once they hit support levels so the dollar franc support area is going to be around here from this range to this range here so any pullback around here is appreciated so we can get back onto the main trend which is up let's take a look at the pound dollar this is a one hour chart as you can see the market size trailing here once again with the currency pair here with the pound dollar as well I am expecting a bit of a pullback, possibly to here. It would be good if we had it back around 26.70, 26, 26 um, 80 region, simply because that's going to be the retest of this breakout. And that's going to give us a really good opportunity to short the market around there where it retests that resistance. Uh, and then the market will have an opportunity to sell off again. So possibly this week we might see the pound dollar up here uh, and possibly um, towards the end of January uh, towards the end of December beginning of January will probably be around here before a sell-off starts again so it's well worthwhile following these retracements in order to jump back on board in the direction of the main trend so let's take a look at the dollar canadi now as you know with the dollar canadi we have this triangle we were taking a look at this last week we were in favor of going long with the dollar canadi and that really worked out well for us on the four hour chart let's take a look at the four hour chart here okay we still have some room to go up here and we also have some room for retracement so what we might see with the dollar canadi is a pullback to around this level which is 1.326050 zone around here um, if the market kind of pulls back here this is where we want to go long again so we have an opportunity to actually to retrace and then go hit that target and then we'll see what happens in january so this is a four hour chart possibly um, two weeks kind of trading will be back and up kind of thing retesting until we either break out from here or we kind of return off that resistance and come back down aussie dollar now aussie dollar we were following really well last week and we did mention that we'd like to go long around this area slightly under that area the market found support which is there so i was hoping around 1.7320 the market bounced off around 72.70 just there okay there we go 
I think this is still up for a retracement. Let me get rid of this line here. Um, I think the market here on the Aussie dollar will still come up a little bit and it will kind of fall in place with that weekly pivot area before it starts to go down. So we might see the Aussie dollar back retracing maybe let's see where to maybe to around here that 7370 region and then possibly um, even 70 even 74 region before it slides to back down again to carry on going down um, as the dollar strengthens let's take a look at the dollar yen now we were expecting this retracement with the dollar yen I did mark this area before and the market's now pulling back which is great because that pullback is going to give us some opportunity to actually go long later on so if I kind of bring it back here we might see we might see the dollar yen Oof. around 116.70 or slightly lower at that range there 116.20 now that's not so far fetched um, this is the first sport area here as you can see that's a 61.8 level but if I take this off you'll see that we have a nice breakout pull back follow through and now the market's kind of pulling back again uh, in order to kind of go along with that so what we want to do is have a good pullback in order to carry on with that long trend in January let's take a look at dollar czar I did mention this area to be resistance last week if you followed it up or not um, so this bounce off here is very very logical but I think it's a bounce back uh, in order to go long so with the dollar czar I think this pullback will probably carry on until through Christmas and New Year and then in January we're going to have to watch out for this breakout level here because once it breaks out this level here we might see the dollars are all the way back up on the 1550 range here and that's not such a far-fetched thing the market's been there before on a few occasions as you can see it's a nice band to play off so if the market does break above here you'll be good to go long um, into that direction I reckon take a look at gold now here we are with gold these are the levels that we've been marking off as you know this 1050 area is what we're looking at we had a good range there a good bounce there in 2015 so a pull back to that area is going to be again a good double bottom until we pull back there though I am expecting market to kind of pull up before they sell it down here so my expectation is then bring this to a four hour chart my expectation is that the market will kind of pick up a little bit before they sell it off and that's how we should be trading it trading it um, there we go and now we can get rid of this so this was the bounce off area we were talking about market bounced off nicely there and now we can expect a kind of a go up and then start going down again so we're going to have to see how that works out but it's worthwhile drawing your line so you can play that channel along going sh going short at the tops and kind of buying at the bottoms and playing along nicely with the rhythm of the market Brent now I did say 60 was the mark again I said last week this was a good bounce off area I drew this resistance line as well last week I said look if it breaks out from here that's a good sign to kind of go back up and that's what it really did so we can get rid of this line now and this one too uh, and our expectation basically for oil is to come up to, to the $60 line there uh, where, it, where it was before so as the production gets cut and decreased um, I think the oil will start to pick up and we'll see that 60 mark again hopefully however though if you're a bit weary about that what you need to do is this just draw your trend line here as you can see and then you can put your stop loss under this area here and if things go pear shaped yeah and if things go pear shaped um, you can always you know come out with a smaller loss uh, rather than just staying in the trade and hoping it'll go up it's very important to do some money management on these trades especially commodities can be a little choppy so just be mindful on that
Uh, also, let's take a look at DAX. Oops, just one second on that. Now with DAX, we've been following this up. I still have that number there, 11,585. I think it's just, I think it's still a potential to reach that level. Uh, the 11,500 mark definitely is on the cards. So if you're trading the DAX, um, it's, it's definitely worthwhile um, keeping that in consideration. If you already entered the trade, um, you know, last week I did mention um, that if we break out through this resistance, it's going to be huge. And if you look at that, it's just the market just went nuts. Um, you know, a lot of points all the way up there. So it still has a bit of mileage to go, I reckon, before it starts to get tired. So if you're following that trade on uh, since the moment it broke out, you just need to make sure that you move your stops forward and then uh, see how that eventuates. Dow is another one. Just like with DAX, uh, it's now going, it's, it's got that target up there. And uh, and I, I think the market will hit it this week and next week um, before January to see what happens. Um, and then we'll see with the new year and Trump coming into the office how these indices will react. I hope that helps. Um, have a good day with your trading. And don't forget, Yellen is talking. So just be mindful about the news coming out this week if you're trading uh, be careful about the news because they do make sure they, they do get the markets going up and down. All the best. Have a great day.